Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tay Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in right now. Father, we pause to tell you that we thank you and that we love you and that we adore you, Father Jesus. God, I ask and pray that it be none of me and all of you. Father, God, I ask that you have your way. Touch each and every person that's watching this video. God, you know what they stand in the need of on today. God, I speak healing. I speak reconciliation. Father God, I speak your blessings, your fruits of the Spirit out right now in the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you and we love you, Father God. We trust the plans you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So the title of this message is, In Private, Not Public, Yes. In Private, Not Public. This message may not be for everybody. It may just be for one or two people, but the Lord is speaking directly to someone today, amen. Maybe you've gone in prayer. You know, maybe this is something that happened or something that the Lord is bringing back around to your attention from something previous that could have happened or warning you that it doesn't, you know, continue to happen. But either way, go back to the Lord and seek him in prayer on behalf of this message. Amen. This message for you, if this message is for you, you're going to know because it's going to resonate with your spirit. And again, this is something that the Lord is speaking to someone about today. When the Holy Spirit was speaking to me on behalf of this message, it took me back to the movie, Why Did I Get Married? This is when Sheila and the sheriff are now married. And the sheriff wanted to speak with um, Sheila and private. And I wanted to give you the first scripture that the Lord has given to me to give to you. It's coming from the book of Matthew chapter 7, beginning at the 12th verse. It says, so do the good things for other people that you would want them to do for you. That is true in everything you do. That is what God's law and the message of God's prophets teach us. So the Lord wants to make sure that you know that, you know, hey, they don't want he doesn't want you to be um, disrespectful at all to your partner. He wants you to treat that person um, with respect. He wants you to love this person. You know, you're supposed to love your wife as Christ loves the church and wives. You're supposed to respect your husband. And when you respect that person, you know, that's how they know that you love them, that you care for them. And whatever you're doing, you make sure that you don't do this openly in front of everybody to where you are correcting them, right? This is about correction, pretty much. And the Lord doesn't want you to correct them in front of certain people, family members, friends, like put them on blast. You know, it makes this person feel offended. It makes this person feel embarrassed. So the Lord wants you to watch your attitude and watch how you treat that person because um, a lot of you, he's bringing this relationship back together, this marriage back together. But, you know, for some of you, there was at some times to where there were not, they were not being respected. They were not being treated right. They were not being loved correctly. So, you know, the Lord is taking some time to deal with this person um, individually. But at the same time, he wants you to know that, hey, you know, when I bring this thing back together, when I do this reconciliation, I'm not doing it just because you want it to be done. I'm doing it for a kingdom purpose. I'm doing it for my glory. This is something that you cried out to me about. And I want you to respect what I have given to you. I want you to love what I've given to you. You're supposed to cultivate one another, bring out the best in each other. So do not shout at your spouse. Do not holler at them when correcting this person, right? You know, you want to make sure that you're not just pointing the finger at that person and saying, you know, ugly words towards them, using profanity, cussing them out, talking to them any kind of way and using words like you never do this and you never do that. And, you know, just nitpicking and bringing up, you know, certain things, you know, that's irrelevant, right? The Lord doesn't want you to do those things in private nor in public, but it's some conversations that you have to have with your kingdom spouse in private, but not in public, not in front of everybody, not on blast, not when you're trying to correct that person. You know, you, you don't do that. It's a way to handle anything. And the Lord is not playing. He's not playing about this, right? When he brings this, you know, union back together, 
you're going to be bearing good fruit. He wants the fruits of the spirit to be displayed inside of this marriage, inside of this relationship, inside of this reconciliation. And again, this message may not be for every one, but the Lord is saying, you know, hey, you know, take your time with that person. Don't talk to them like they're your child or like they are a child. You know, please, you know, act accordingly to how the Lord is allowing you to love. If you don't know what you are doing, then maybe you need to hold off from even getting back into that relationship and let the Lord deal with you a little bit more. And the Lord wants you to come to him, go to him and say, God, you know, hey, I don't want to love this person the way that I want to love them. I want to love them the way that you're telling me to love them. Because see, these are some of the things that, you know, irritated your kingdom spouse. You know, you didn't know how to talk to them. You didn't know how to treat them. You didn't know how to handle them. And, you know, you've been crying out to the Lord because you miss this person. You love them. And the Lord is just saying, hey, you know, this is something that you don't need to no longer do. This is something that you need to correct. And a lot of you that are watching this video, you know that you were wrong. You know that you talked to them any kind of way. You treated them any kind of way that the Lord needed to deal with your attitude. The Lord needs to put you, you know, back in, you know, to check back in your place to allow you to know, hey, this is my child, right? Touch not my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm, right? Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Treat them with respect. Treat them with love and kindness. The, the word allows us to know with love and kindness, I draw thee. You're only going to draw this person with love and kindness. You have to take out your time, you know, and treat this person correctly. You can't bring old habits into this new relationship, into this new marriage that, you know, the Lord is bringing together. Old things have passed away. Behold, behold, old things have passed away. God is doing a new thing. And because of this new thing that's happening, you can't bring back the old ways, old behaviors, old ways of talking and expecting this thing to work because they're not going to see you if you are not you know, in your lane of loving them the way that the Lord wants you to do this. Who am I talking to today? And whether you believe it or not, since you guys, for a lot of you, have been in separation from your person or, um, you know, maybe you guys haven't talked in a while. Maybe it's been a minute or two before you talk to that person. But the Lord has dealt with this person individually to where the Lord has shown them how they are supposed to be treated the thing about it is when you get inside of the word of God, it teaches you um, what is true and correct. The Holy Spirit would do that. It will lead and guide you into all truth. So you have to remember that, you know, maybe this person may have dealt with a lot of things in the past from you or, you know, maybe uh, this could be vice versa. But either way. They're not dealing with those same old patterns, those same old ways, because the Lord has shown you their value, shown them their value, shown them their worth. And there's a lot of things that they're not going to deal with. They're not going to take at all. So and, and they shouldn't have to. And you shouldn't have to if you're the one that's watching and maybe that happened to you. But no, when the Lord brings this reconciliation about, you know, hey, this, these are the things and the instructions that he wants you to listen to, you know, lean not towards your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord, acknowledge him, you know, seek him first, you know, seek the Lord and ask him, which way do you want me to go? How do I handle this situation? Even when you're frustrated, even when you're mad and you're upset because you can't handle a person any kind of way, you know, speak, speak to them in a loving tone, a loving manner, you know, respect that person, love that person, treat that person, you know, as you love yourself, the same way you love your own body, treat that person the same way. That's how your kingdom spouse is going to treat you. This is what the Lord has been working on you with and has been working on them with, you know, whoever this message applies to. Again, it's not for everybody, but the Lord is serious about this thing. He loves the both of you and the Lord wants his will to be done. Think before you speak. Sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it to that person, you know. And just make sure that you're not being, you know, disrespectful in front of the kids or in front of other people, right? Watch your tone at the move. Watch your tone. Keep your hands on your head, right? Watch your tone and make sure that you are living out 
the way living your life out the way that the Lord has ordained for you to do that even while you're with your kingdom spouse don't cry you know and 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 pray to the Lord and want the Lord to bring this back together but you're not doing your part to fix the issues that the Lord has instructed you to do again obedience is better than a sacrifice and sometimes the sacrifice is the obedience. So make sure that you're not doing certain things in public, but you're doing it in private. And remember, you know, don't speak ugly to this person in private or in public. Neither one of those things are exceptional. It's, it's not it's not something that needs to happen. But if you're going to correct them, correct them inside of a loving manner. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Go to the book of Galatians. It talks about those fruits of the spirit to where you're bearing good fruits and learn about those fruits. Study upon those fruits. Again, the Holy Spirit teaches you what is true and what is correct. Right. And the Lord wants what's best for you. He has what's best for you. Again, this message may not be for everybody. This is only for the people who have been, you know, praying and talking with the Lord on this behalf and they want their relationship back. And maybe there are some instructions and some things that, you know, the Lord has already unctioned in their spirit that they need to change, that they need to do differently because God is doing a new thing. You're always have passed away. Once you have become a new creature in Christ, you know, there are some things that you're going to hang up and no longer do again, right? No longer go back to those old ways of doing things. Who am I talking to today? This message is for somebody. I'm so excited about what the Lord is doing inside of your life. Make sure you take heed to what the Lord is saying. And the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Keep all negativity away. Remember the enemy's job is to steal, kill, and destroy, right? Because Proverbs 23 and 7 reminds us that for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, said he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Make sure that, you know, hey, you watch carefully the things that you say out of your mouth. Watch how you say it. You know, think of those things of Christ. Think on those things of Christ. Let the Lord lead you all the way in this marriage, this relationship, this reconciliation. You know, a lot of people are not going to understand why the Lord is bringing this relationship back together. Well, guess what? The Lord didn't give it to them. He gave it to you. So he knows the plans that he has for you. Jeremiah 29 and 11, you know, and I'm asking and praying and you ask and pray that the Lord delivers you. If this is you watching and you've done those things, deliver you from making poor choices and bad decisions. And um, even if it's for your kingdom spouse, you know, I pray that the Lord, you know, deliver them from making poor choices and bad decisions. You know, maybe this is, you know, something that the Lord has been speaking to you on. You've been asking the Lord to edify your tongue because you're chosen. Edify your tongue because you don't want to hurt them with words from your mouth and they don't want to hurt you with words from their mouth. So the Lord has been working on the both of you. Um, again, you know, because he wants this reconciliation to come back together the right way. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we come to you as humble as we know how with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, we ask and pray that you sound us the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative. And God, we ask right now that you help us to die daily to our flesh, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, along this journey. Be kind to us. Be our friend, Father God, as you are bringing this reconciliation back together, as you're restoring these marriages, Father God, as you're bringing, you know, new things about inside of our lives. God, help us to be patient. Help us to... um, take in those fruits of the spirit and meditate on them daily god we thank you for your word on today in jesus name we pray amen amen if you're new here welcome don't forget to like share and subscribe you guys this is the year of answer prayers and we're not stopping by any means necessary until we make hell nervous if the, if the enemy is going to be rapping we'll be singing we'll be doing the duet but guess what he's not going to back us into a corner And have it to where we can get what the Lord has for us. The devil has always been a liar. And the truth is nowhere in him. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your uh, super thanks. Thank you for your prayers. If you need a prayer request. Amen. Email me with a prayer request. If you need one. I'll be happy to believe the Lord with you. Email only. And amen. So into this ministry as the Lord lays it on your heart to do so. I love you with the love of Christ. And. There's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you in the next video.